CataractCoach.com, cyclocryoablation to control intraocular pressure. This is a very effective way of controlling the IOP in this infected eye. So there's cyclocryo in the setting of acute glaucoma and invasive fungal infection. If they're 40-year-old, contact lens wear, eye irritation, look at that. You got a fungal infection here. It's a hot mess. What can you do? It's really quite bad, actually. And the catch is you don't want to do an intraocular procedure lest you get infection inside the eyes. So you can see a big PKP has already been done. Treatment options are limited. You're not sure if the fungal infection is still active. So here comes a retrobulbar injection or peribulbar injection of lidocaine and epi. That's going to reduce some of the post-op pain. Maybe even add some marking in there. Now, cyclocryo means using the cryoprobe. Here it is. The cryoprobe gets very, very cold, right? And that's going to go transclerally. And you can use that liquid nitrogen there and get it really cold. That's going to go transclerally and it's going to kill off some of these ciliary processes that are making aqueous here. So minus 80 degrees is what you're looking for. There it is. You can see the regulator pressure that's going on there. And now here's the cryoprobe. You want to test it. And when you step on that pedal, you want to see some icicles forming on the tip of it. There it is. And so what you're going to do here is you're going to use this and you're going to do cyclocryoablation. So putting the cryoprobe down here, you're going to don't go on the cornea. You're going to go posterior to that, about a millimeter back from the limbus. And you're going to put the probe down. And here's the key. When you're applying the cold, you've got to give it time to work. There's the cold. There it goes with that exposed side down. Step on the pedal. And how long do you wait? It's about 30 seconds. So two millimeter probe is placed one millimeter behind the limbus. You want to count for 30 seconds at a time. The video here sped up, so don't count on that. 30 seconds, and then let go, and there you go. That's one spot. You're going to do about four or five of these spots on the inferior 180 degrees. Don't go 360. You're just doing the inferior 180. So, again, that's 30 seconds. The video is sped up. Remember, it's 30 seconds for each spot. You can time it exactly if you want to. That'll be more accurate. There's the big freeze ball that you create. Squirt some BSS to help release that, and then you release it. There's two spots. Again, four or five spots total, two millimeters apart, only the inferior 180 degrees. If you do more than that, you get a terrible hypotenuse in the eye. So again, here's another big freeze spot. There it is. Take your time. Now, if you need to, if it's a recalcitrant case, you can go back over the initial spots a little bit longer. But you got to get the freeze ball for 30 seconds because you want to kill off and get frozen the tip of the ciliary process where you're making the aqueous. So again, four spots, maybe five spots total, inferior 180 degrees, doing this with a good retrobulbar injection or parabulbar injection, use some lidocaine at least with some epi. They also perhaps put in some bupivacaine or marcaine to give a longer-term anesthesia. And in the case like this, this effectively controlled the IOP. So this patient was maxed out on IOP drops. There's only so much you can do, right? But if you have that high pressure, you're going to kill off your optic nerve, so you got to be careful here. So here you go, post-op IOP, 25 on day one. Fantastic. Hey, check out retinarounds.com or your channel. Plus, on Cataract Coach, we have so many more great videos from Professor Ayala all about tough cases like this. Check it out.